All right, what's up, everyone? Uh, today we're back with uh, Mustafa, and uh, yo, what you do at uh, last Toronto Regionals? So uh, I got fourth place with Pure Orcus. Oh, okay, that's very spicy, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen uh, this deck uh, do any well at an event. So. Uh, Awesome, yeah, man. Totally, uh, totally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited and looking forward to see uh, the spice that you have for us, man. Yeah, so uh, go ahead. Right. So, start the main deck. We have First of all, beautiful heart. mat, huh? I love Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Did, did you buy it? Oh, obviously, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fourth place, I bought a new one. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the six. Uh, I saw a lot of people playing this, the two. I really don't like it. Uh, it's not bad to see, especially with Greffer. Uh, two symbol and two bombard. I really like bombard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> setting up, uh, setting up the link rebo uh, is really nice because I still play uh, insta fusion. So just having that as an option later on in the game is really nice. And it's technically another starter. Uh, I have two wands. Uh, <laughs> I told you I, the I, spice. I actually really, really like this card. Uh, in the regular combo, you always send it off Nightmare. So if you're going second, you send one. Uh, and its other effect that a lot of people don't know is you can special summon a World Legacy from your hand. So you just summon it's the other self. one if you draw. Uh, if you draw the other one. I mean, I know that because I used to play three wand. Yeah. This is why I'm asking you. Why aren't you playing Machine Duke? <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed, eh? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the spice. Yeah. Uh, that's the Orcus lineup. Yeah. Then uh, one Gizmek, obviously, because it's pure. Uh, starters, I have one Greffer, one Arma, one Scrap, and then the three math. So uh, why the random Scrap when you're already playing three math? So I just want to have as many starters as possible. As many, but you're only playing one Scrap. So what the heck is this logic? <laughs> okay, I, I won't argue. As many without like breaking too hard. Uh, yeah. Realistically. Yeah, sure. So uh, obviously this is the best one. These are pretty mad, but obviously this is better than scrap because this is also an upstart. Yeah, you, cr you crack it, yeah. So, yeah, so they're pretty self explanatory. Uh, for my hand traps, two Skullmeister, two Ash, and two Imperm. You, uh, you just want variety over just playing like 3 3. And then exactly, like, and I didn't want to like brick on too many hand traps. Uh, I was considering uh, Crows. But I didn't really want to cut any of these just for more dark targets for Allure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, if anything, Ash can go away. Maybe. Maybe. Like, it is, like, I guess suboptimal in this format. But uh, I still really like having it for, like, the mirror. It's, it's still cute. Alright, fair enough. Yeah. The draw cards, triple Allure and triple Return. This is just consistency. Kind of needed at this point. How good would be uh, Into the Void and Upstart? Upstart's okay. Into the Void. Because it's pure and not like a uh, striker, yeah. I don't really like need to have the spells. Plus, it's already like super consistent, uh, consistent as it is. Uh, so yeah. Sure. Uh, triple Instinct. Uh, I still like the Window Lock. I'm considering Millennium Eyes just for the extra negate. But yeah. overall, this is just a good card. For going first or second. Yeah. Uh, double Cosmic, aside the third, but this is super good in the mirror match. And just uh, against any back row deck, realistically. So, yeah. Uh, the power spells of Foolish and Rhoda. This gets you Greffer. Greffer's the best. And this sends anything you need. And then Battle. And for the other trap, just the one Crescendo. Yeah. Obviously, it's Crescendo. So for the extra deck, we have Triple Galtea, obviously. I mean, if you're not playing three ulti, you're breaking all day long. Even though, facts. even though you're not drawing from the extra deck, you're still breaking. Facts, facts. Yeah. Uh, I, I do want two more French, but they're nice. Uh, oh, where is it? This one. It oh looks my so God, much gorgeous. nicer than English. It, it does, actually, it yeah. does. I can see it from here. And then two ding. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, one Link Rebo, because I play Bombard. Uh, Mascarina, two Nightmares. Ah, uh, what? Okay, so you can afford five ulties, but you still can't afford... <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I, I want... I will, yeah, sure, yeah. Prismatic's like 800. I don't think uh, that's in my budget. Um, uh, Jesse, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he has a few, uh, a few nice cards. I think <laughs> you might nice want to do some deals cards. with him. Yeah? Oof. 
Uh, Trisbana and Zeroboros. Because um, I'm not playing Striker, I don't play Bomber. But obviously I would if I was playing that. Uh, these are just really good. If they stop the first one, you just make the second one. And then use this effect. So, yeah. Yeah, very fair cards. Okay. Uh, Boral, uh, Boral Sword. And then my two targets. Yeah. So you don't have the Nibiru token yet. Yeah, and then the 16 card in your si uh, extra deck so you get DQ'd. <laughs> Uh, next, uh, for the other side, Triple Nibiru. Okay, so how, how good is that card against Orcus? Um, realistically it's really good, especially against the Striker variant. Uh, the token locks down their uh, back row. Uh, you can easily OTK, especially with the Nibiru on your field afterwards. So overall it's really good. Uh, it's good against Salad, it's good against Thunder. Yeah, overall it's just a really good card. Mm -hmm. uh, next, uh, Triple Chaos Hunter. It's really good for uh, uh, Noids. It's really good for the Mirror. <laughs> noids. That's the first thing you consider. Hey, look, Not even no Orcas, just Noids. <laughs> noids is a really hard matchup. So it's just having bad. this so they can't do anything, it, it feels pretty good. Uh, triple Call. This I'm 100% cutting. It, yeah. I decided it like a single time in round 8 against zombies. I feel like it's a really bad side deck card. It's just like, it's like a mediocre main and a bad side deck card. Yeah. It's like, realistically, if you're going first, like maybe you want to play around hand traps, but... Yeah. It, it's not that good of a disruption anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, when Crossout Designator will come out, do you, will, like, would you consider playing that card? Nah. Not even a... Like, realistically, it's good for Nibiru, but That's Nibiru it. doesn't even hurt. It doesn't do enough. You yeah. have the resources in the graves. So. Yeah. Against anything that's not Orcus, Nibiru just doesn't do enough. Yeah. Uh, double Mind Control, really good card. Uh, stole many games. So yeah, uh, the third Cyclone and Triple Reboot. Uh, nice. This card is broken. <laughs> um, I don't understand evenly. Uh, everyone sides no, Lancia against yeah. this deck anyway. So just I'd rather just have Lancia. this. Kill them and then GG. Yeah. So yeah. Makes uh, sense. Awesome. Is there it. anything that you would want to say before we end this? Uh, I'd like to give shout outs to Yang, Ludovic, OCU. Oh. Shout outs to Sam. Yes. Uh, my boy Hamza. Oh, Hamza. I'd like to thank Adam for lending me the impermanences because they're pretty yeah. expensive. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what else is expensive, right? Wait, hold on. Um, oh yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, you're I'm definitely short on the, you know, budget. Everything yeah. was credit. <laughs> everything <laughs> was credit. Uh, I mean, yeah. But yeah, uh, shout outs to my sponsor, uh, Red Dragon. Uh, shout out, shout outs to Red Dragon. Yeah. I have no uh, idea. Shout outs to my team, uh, Top Notch Gaming. It's a store in Ottawa. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, Top Notch Gaming, and yeah, I think that's it. Uh, <laughs> all right, there we go. Uh, all right, so um, yeah, thank you very much uh, for watching, guys. And this was Mustafa with his fourth place Toronto Regional deck profile. Yeah, peace. <laughs>